The cyclic universe is cyclic in some average sense, and even in some what I would call local sense. So if you're an observer in the cyclic universe today, the properties that you see around you, the galaxies, the stars, the temperature, the kinds of matter and radiation in the universe, would be the same as it would be a cycle ago or a cycle from now. But the details would be entirely different. The details, the microscopic details, would be entirely different. And you know, it's, you know, it, uh, it's not going to be the case that you and I are going to be here a cycle from now, or would have been here a cycle ago to see it. Um, so it's only in gross detail, uh, and only in terms of these local properties, that the universe is cyclic. In fact, over time, uh, if you were to look at the universe, you would see the total amount of matter and radiation of the universe and the total volume of the universe is growing from cycle to cycle, if you had a global view of the universe entire. And you'd even see that some objects, like black holes, that black holes can survive these bounces, these cosmic bounces um, that occur in the cyclic model. They would survive from cycle to cycle. So you'd see more black holes if you could see the universe entire from cycle to cycle. But in fact, as an observer in the universe, you don't get to see the universe entire. The only light that we can see is light that was produced at the last bounce. And the reason is because the light and other, other matter and radiation that existed before was diluted during the course of the last cycle to such a degree that there's virtually none of it within our field of view. All we can see within our field of view is the matter and radiation produced at the last bounce. So from our local point of view, it's as if the universe had a fresh start at the big, at the big bounce, when in fact there's been cycles and cycles and perhaps an infinite number of cycles into the past when this cycling has occurred. So locally it seems like things are cyclic, the conditions are exactly the same as before. If you had the global view, you would see, in fact, the universe is progressing in terms of the amount of matter, radiation, black holes, entropy and other properties.